Jim, we'll start with you. Okay, hi Beth. Yeah, um, in case we don't get a chance to talk to you again, I'm, I, I guess the game tomorrow's still on, but wanted to ask you a little bit about playing uh, uh, in the uh, Bama Bash this weekend. And um, are you ready for that? Are you ready to go against a team, hopefully a team like Alabama? That question, Jim. That's how you're. That's how you're starting me off here, huh? Um, no, we're excited. You know, I think the only way we get better is by continually challenging our team. So we will definitely have a challenge um, this weekend. I think you know, with everybody in that tournament, we're going to have a challenge. It's it's all good opponents, quality opponents. So um, I, I guess after this weekend, you know, looking out on the field and realizing. It is a very young team. I don't think we understood how young we were because um, we felt like we just returned everybody, you know, and it's all the same. But um, a lot of these guys have just not been in some big situations. I mean, even the sophomores we had on the field, you know, didn't play a whole ton their freshman year. So we definitely have some growing to do, definitely have some learning to do. So the more opportunities we can put them against the best competition, I think the better off we'll be. Uh, do, you, do you think y'all are going to play tomorrow night? Uh, uh, do you, does it? Uh, how does it look? Uh, the forecast. Um, I do think we're going to play tomorrow. I'm not sure it'll be tomorrow night. Um, we're trying to come up with a time right now, but I we are definitely going to try to play tomorrow. Okay, I'm good. Hey, coach. After opening weekend, I know you said you learned a lot as far as seeing that it's still a very young team. But is there anything that stands out specifically that maybe you guys learned that you hadn't seen yet in practice? Well, I think um, we have some really athletic kids, and I think they showed that on Saturday. We have some great athletes that can just do some things naturally that are really fun to watch. You know, the way we played defense on. Saturday was awesome. The fight that our team showed to continue to come back when Kansas scored on Saturday was really cool. And I say it all the time, but it's nice to have a talented team. But the thing that will take you to the furthest is having a team with some guts and a team that will fight. So I like seeing that. And then, of course, our offense was really, really sound. And just the amount of power numbers that they were able to put up in the first weekend um, was exciting, um, you know, just to see what they're capable of. And we know we faced really good pitching against Duke. So to see them still able to produce power numbers off of a pitcher like that was really encouraging. It's crazy to see last year, not a single, you guys weren't able to face a single SEC opponent, even in uh, the preseason. Now that you're, you know, if this game does happen, hopefully the weather holds off playing Alabama. How do you prepare some of the younger girls and what are you saying to them or even the older girls telling them to prepare for an SEC environment? Yeah, I think we just have to continue to play LSU softball. I don't know that there's any real um, preparation for it other than taking the field against them, you know, and the more times you can do that, the better we'll get at it. So I think we just have to put our team on the field and let them compete and let them play hard. And, you know, I think they'll understand how to deal with the pressure at that time. And, and they will. They're really talented. Um, they're very athletic. So I think they just have to play um, within themselves. I think we've got to do a better job of not making some of these moments bigger than they are. Um, you know, it's still February. Um, so we've got to just play them um, like it's another pitch, another moment instead of making them so big. Um, and I think that comes with age and maturity and we will be better at that as the season goes on. Coach, I know in other sports, some of the uh, athletes we cover, they say they're not allowed to talk about the weather. But when the weather is so overwhelming like it is right now, how are you uh, How are you dealing with that? And is there anything uh, funny to share about the last 48 hours or so and how cold it's been? Well, it's. I, I mean, I think it started this weekend, too. You know, I think we were in – when we finished the game on Friday, we were in feels like temperatures of below freezing. So, you know, in the 11 months that we have prepared, right, we said like 338 days, we've literally – had not had to go inside except for one day that was uh, the week prior to the first game for rain. Uh, we have never experienced something even, you know, within 20 degrees of those temperatures. So um, it's really, really hard to prepare for that. I have no idea how to prepare for that. Honestly, this is the furthest north I've ever lived. So um, I, I don't even know how to prepare them for that. Um, we always try to say like, 
Um, <laughs> there's no such thing as cold weather, just lack of preparation, you know, so dress warm and do everything you can, but um, it's, it's really, it is tough. It is tough to try to um, get them ready for a situation that we've never put them in. Keeping the game on for tomorrow, the obvious joke is North Dakota there. Th this would be like summertime for them or something like that. I mean, it, it, has that been kind of the interaction with them? Like, hey, that's no problem with us. Yeah, they just practiced um, in our indoor facility and they walked the field and they were helping us, giving us advice on how to get the field ready for tomorrow. They were telling us how to remove the ice and giving us some suggestions and we were leaning on them. It's negative three there and negative 25 with the wind chill today where they're from. So um, they were definitely giving us advice and they were thinking that it was hilarious that we thought our field was in terrible shape. They just thought that this was kind of the perfect day to play softball. So um, <laughs> they have been, they've been really good sports about it too, but just to let everyone know, they did just hit inside. So they did not go outside today either. They hit inside. So we can't make them out to be that tough. Did they have short sleeves or, uh, or were they bundled up? Yeah, they might've had short sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> they did say they had to eat dinner at Costco last night because nothing was open and they could not understand why that happened, so. Coach, uh, not knowing the, the timelines when the SEC conference schedule was was announced, were you and Murphy working? Like, did you know you weren't going to play them in conference, or you would try to at least have something to show? Like, we wanted to keep this rivalry going, and you were able to be part of the bash. Yeah, we were initially supposed to be in Clearwater this weekend in the ESPN tournament, but that canceled due to COVID. So we were looking for somewhere to play and. Alabama was never on our, we, we are playing the original SEC schedule from however many years ago it was set. Um, so we were never scheduled to play them in 2021. So when the opportunity came and, you know, he reached out and said on one of our coaches calls, he knew we needed somewhere to play. And he said, Hey, we're hosting this weekend. If you want to come over. So um, we jumped on the opportunity as it was somewhere we could bus to somewhere we could get to pretty easily. And we felt like we could stay safe in the COVID climate. Um, and get to play some really quality opponents early in the year. And secondly, just losing the doubleheader with Central Arkansas, uh, will this experience allow you to play more players because you didn't, you know, maybe you didn't get to play as many younger players as you'd liked? Yeah, we had a couple of kids miss some starts that we would have liked to see. You know, we weren't going to obviously um, play down to Central Arkansas. They're really talented. They obviously showed this weekend they have a really good team. So, um, but we are we were able to reschedule them for. Tuesday, February 23rd. So we will see them again. But, um, you know, we did have another pitcher that was scheduled to start. Um, our backup catcher, you know, Kate Callen was supposed to be in the game. So we definitely had some kids that we're going to play that we need to find some time for that are very talented. Beth, I have kind of a, a technical question. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Tell me, uh, has there been any fundamental change in the offensive approach or swing of Sierra Briggs? Has Howard worked with her specifically to, uh, to develop some more power in addition to uh, the other skills she has offensively? Um, I mean, there was a fundamental change. I think it's been three years ago now with all of our, with our entire hitting style. Is it three or two? It's, he's behind me. It's three years ago that we've made um, a pretty big change fundamentally. And I think not only are the kids getting better at understanding it, but we're getting better at implementing it. Um, you know, I know Howard has worked with a ton of our hitters. Lindsay has as well. Um, you know, and I think she spent a ton of time with Sierra Briggs also. They both have done um, really good things. And I, I know Sierra herself has put in a lot of time. And obviously we see that paying off. But um, she's always been a great player. When we recruited her, we battled it out to get a player like her here because she is so special. Thank you. Yeah, I think the fact that they, Howard and Lindsay did make the change several years ago is a, a really cool thing to note. Um, and we've seen really good things for it, but you know, they both have been really successful coaches in their lives. And, you know, I think, to not have the ego and to be willing to go and make a change like that to kind of reinvent what you're doing is really a cool thing. Um, and that in itself took a lot of courage. And um, I just think it's a really cool thing that they did that. And our players have been better ever since. And our players are lucky to have coaches like that that work with them. 
And speaking of Sierra, did you get any more clarity as far as the corner outfield positions and who do you'd like to see starting there? Not really. Um, I, I don't know if we'll make those final decisions ever. Honestly, I think we'll continue to try to match up. We know who hits what kind of pitching better and what their strengths are. So I think, um, you know, we'll just continue to try to put them in situations where they can be successful. Thank you. Any other questions for Beth? We're good. All right, cool. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Y'all stay warm.